All right, welcome back to the Vessel Free, baby. That's me, baby. Listen, this is going to be a night out read, okay? It's dark outside, okay? I got my, my, little, my little night light over here. You look, I ain't got my nightgown, y'all. I ain't trying to scare nobody. It's like, no, let me stop playing. But this is going to be a little night out read. This is going to be for Aquarius. The next 48 hours for Aquarius. All right. So we're going to go ahead and tap right into it, baby. Tap, tap, tap in. I feel like that's what you guys are doing exactly. You're tapping in right now. Yeah, and I'm looking at the stars on the back of this deck right here. Somebody's definitely tapping into the cosmos right now. We having a spiritual enlightenment. Yeah, people could be talking about your spiritual gifts at this time. All right, or talking about a new opportunity that's coming in for you at a very fast rate. Or how fast you are um, building something, creating something. It's like you're glowing at this time. You could be in fear of this new start, this new beginning in your life. But I feel like you're making a lot of head over heart decisions that have to come to finances as well. Judgment here. All right, so you're making a lot of harsh decisions, right? You're renewing a lot of things. You're coming into this renewed energy of yourself as well. I feel like you're just being renewed altogether in all areas of your life. You could be going out celebrating a lot with friends, reuniting with old friends. Yeah, I feel like you're in this place of success. Or you're going to be celebrating your success here soon. But I also feel like you're in this huge rebirth stage. You could be um, fearing your spiritual gifts at this time. Your intuition could be transforming. Your crown chakra could be transforming. That's what I mean by tapping in you could, you're tapping into your purpose your spiritual gifts your 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 divine giving gifts you're definitely having um an awakening here but you're it's like you're grieving the the loss of that old self of you so it's like you're saying goodbye to your old self but you're still looking back Yeah, Eight of Pentacles in work. Some of you guys are going to get a new job or a new job offer. I feel like um, some of you guys could also be careful of overworking or overburdening yourself. Some of you guys are going to be traveling with this new job or a new job offer that um, involves traveling. Or some of you guys are going to get a company car to travel with. Or like a, a, a job that's going to pay for your gas. I feel like some of you guys are having problems at work. There could be someone in your energy that um, the divine has taken care of that was trying to manipulate your gifts as well. And that could be, you know, it. Some of you guys could be having a hard time buying a home. But then something gets cleared. A decision comes out or it's like it's taking a long time but in possibly three three to five days a decision is made some of you guys may not have gotten a home that you wanted all right but it's for some type of reason for you to be more successful it's it's like Maybe you have to maybe you have to travel or you're moving to some type of far place from where you your your business is or something. It's for something else to flourish in your life for the creative, more inspired part, whatever you're creating, working on to take off. It's like not the right timing. Yeah, you're gonna get wish fulfillment in that area or in love. I also feel like truth and clarity is going to come out about whoever was trying to manipulate your energy or manipulate your money. For some of you guys, this could be a mother figure involved. The justice system could be involved as well. Some some type of truth or clarity could come out in court. Yeah, you have the Queen of Swords here. So the Queen of Swords is going to speak some type of truth or clarity. I'm hearing not non-compromisable. 
You're going to be able to walk away from something. You're going to be able to walk away with money. Is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Especially if you're afraid of financial loss. And that's why you're overworking yourself. Yeah, you're afraid of financial loss. As soon as I said that the Five of Pentacles came out. Or maybe you did lose some money. But I see the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to be happy. There's something, there's going to be some type of quick action. Yeah, maybe there's some type of new love that comes in. Or I feel like you're going to have some type of tears of joy when this money comes in. This could involve a child or child support. Queen of Wands. There could be some type of argument in court. Or some type of text messages presented or something like that. I also feel like there's like you have like some type of spiritual haters, but they still watch you. Yeah, but I feel like something's not over or there's going to be there could possibly be a renewal or some type of continuance in court. But I feel like you receive money. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, you're going to get there's going to be some type of argument over money. But it's like you may already be financially stable and then you still get money as soon as I said some type of argument over money. Yeah. Or over some type of business. That's the tower right here. Or some type of money scheme. Yeah, it's going to help you. It's going to invite you towards a new beginning. Towards you be able to manifest whatever you want. Look, somebody's going to be giving you money. It's like they have two people to give it to. Yeah, that's what's coming up. Either in the next 48 hours or um I don't know y'all. I was say either in the next 48 hours or this is what you were getting word or documentation of. Alright, or for some of you guys that you were confused about something. Yeah, there you go right here. But with the King of Pentacles. Okay, honey, with the being. All right, so that's what I have for you. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you resonated. If you didn't resonate, then maybe it just wasn't your read. That's what I have for you. Peace.